I've been doing tons of stories about California lately. And it's not just because I'm a New Yorker who can't stand LA's opportunist culture or anything. I swear, that's not it. It's because there's just so much crazy news coming out of Cali these days. Here's some more, ready for this? The LA Times just released a report on some testing that went down this year on California's drinking water sources. And they found that toxic forever chemicals, commonly known as PFAs, have seeped into the public water supply. In fact, nearly 300 water sources were found to have traces of these toxic chemicals, affecting the drinking water of millions of Californians. State officials released the results this week, which they say is the first step in a much longer effort to track the scale of contamination in California's water supply. They've only tested a small fraction of water sources so far, and they plan to continue. However, they haven't committed to statewide testing, as what they've already done has been very costly, and what they have already found will cost even more to clean up. According to the Times report, the PFAs that were found have been linked to kidney and testicular cancer, thyroid disease, and high cholesterol. And they persist indefinitely in the human body, which is why scientists call them forever chemicals. They were originally developed in the 1940s and were used in tons of household products, from food packaging to Teflon cookware to clothing and beyond. They were also used in firefighting foam used on military bases, which the Times says is a major source for groundwater pollution. In fact, they found 21 contaminated military bases in California. There is no agreed upon safety level for PFAs. The EPA classifies them as an emerging contaminant that they are still trying to learn about in terms of what's safe and what's not. But in January, a new state law goes into effect requiring water utility companies to inform their customers if PFAs are found. And since we're talking about California here, a state full of hippies, I'm sure they're not going to be happy when they find out. Now, I'm also sure my water here in New York is filled with some terrible stuff too. But I'm no hippie. And I live by the following motto. If for any reason you don't trust the system, then don't drink its water. It really is that simple.